अब ये तुम लोग का है यूनिट थ्री का मैट्रिक्स मैट्रिक्सरा का लास्ट पोर्शन है क्वालिटी फॉर्म फर्स्ट वी विल सी इट्स डेफिनेशन देर विल बी सम अदर डेफिनेशन एंड देन एग्जाम्पल्स फर्स्ट सी द डेफिनेशन वन ए मैपिंग क्यू फ्रॉम बी टू एफ इज कॉल्ड ए क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्म इफ क्यू अल्फा इज इक्वल टू एफ अल्फा कॉम अल्फा फॉर सम बाई लीनियर फॉर्म एफ ऑन वी This will be clear from some example. Alternatively, a quadratic form is a polynomial q x equal to x transpose a x. This quadratic form is written as x transpose a x. This x transpose is a matrix, a is a matrix, and x is a matrix. Where x transpose is equal to x one, x two, x n, so on, x n, and capital A is a symmetric matrix. That is, q x is your This is your x transpose x one x two so on x n, and this is your symmetric matrix n by n a one one a one two so on a one n, a two one a two two so on a two n, and so on a n one a n two and so on a n n, into this matrix x which is a column matrix x one x two so on x n. Multi after multiplying these three matrices, we get equal to the summation over i summation over j, a i j x i x j. For one less than or equal to i, less than or equal to n, and one less than or equal to j, less than or equal to n. If you expand this one, then you will get this summation. So this q x can be written as a one one x one square plus a two two x two square plus one plus a n n x n square plus two times summation a i j x i x j, but i is less than j. See here, this is your a one one a two two and so on. Here, these are diagonal elements. So diagonal elements will be the coefficients for x1 square, x2 square, and so on, xn square. And rest, we will have two times summation aij, xi, xj. I is less than j. This is your quadratic form, and this is your quadratic form in the matrix form. See clearly, qx is a polynomial. See this is a polynomial of degree two, in which every term has degree two. This is your first definition. Then there is another definition too. Let V be a real inner product space, and suppose that capital A is a real symmetric matrix, linear transformation on V. Then the real valued function capital Q alpha defined by capital Q alpha is equal to A alpha comma alpha is called the quadratic form associated with this matrix A. For example, five x square minus six x y plus eight y square. It is a real quadratic form in the two variables x and y. See here. We have the coefficients as five minus six and eight. All of them are real numbers, and we have the variables x and y. Only two variables. That is why quadratic form in two variables, but real quadratic form. Next, another example. See, two x square minus y square plus two z square minus two y z minus four z x plus six x y. It is a real quadratic form in three variables x, y, and z. See here also, all the coefficients are real numbers. And we have three variables x, y, and z. So it is a real quadratic form in three variables x, y, and z. There is another definition for you. If the matrix A is diagonal, diagonal means all non-diagonal elements are zero, then the corresponding quadratic form Q has diagonal representation as Q x is equal to x transpose A x. Is this is equal to a one one x one square plus a two two x two square plus one plus a n n x square. See, there will be no term. Of the type x i into x j, so this will be your absent here. Why? Because the symmetric matrix A is a diagonal matrix. So uh, we will get some examples for this also. Uh, next, we will proceed to further. <coughs> There are some other examples and theorem. This is not for uh, given your theorem, uh, your syllabus. There is a orthogonal diagonal diagonalization of the quadratic form. Uh, we will see some examples for this one. Next, there are some very important definitions, uh, very useful for you in future. Uh, maybe this may be asked here. See the definition one. Let V be an n-dimensional vector space over R. Then a quadratic form Q on V is called positive semi-definite. 
if q alpha is greater than or equal to 0 for all alpha in v this is equality is there also that is why semi definite second definition a quadratic form q on n dimensional vector space v is said to be positive definite if q alpha is greater than 0 for all alpha in v minus 0 See here it is semi definite now it is definite for definite it should be greater than zero no equality sign next definition three a quadratic form q is said to be negative semi definite if q alpha is less than or equal to zero for all alpha in v similarly a quadratic form q is said to be negative definite if q alpha is less than zero for all alpha in v minus zero and if a quadratic form is none of the above these four forms then it is called indefinite to describe now there is an algorithm to describe the algorithm which diagonalizes quadratic form qx on rn by means of an orthogonal change of coordinates x equal to py see the alg algorithm uh, just remember this or you note down in your note copy step 1 find the symmetric matrix a which represents q and find its characteristic polynomial uh, we will see by some example how to find a symmetric matrix second uh, find the eigenvalues of a which are the roots of the equation this delta t is equal to zero you can easily find out the eigenvalues of a step three for each eigenvalue lambda of a in step two find an orthogonal basis of its eigenspace step four normalize all eigenvectors which are obtained in step three which then form an orthogonal basis of rn step five find the matrix p whose columns are the normalized eigenvectors obtained in step iv then x is equal to p into y is the required orthogonal change of coordinates and the diagonal entries in p dash ap p dash means p transpose ap will be the eigenvalues of a which correspond to the columns of p to describe the algorithm which gives the matrix p such that p transpose ap is diagonal see here we will use this one first form the matrix m is equal to a i here a is your matrix and i is your identity then apply the row and column operations to m we will apply row and column operations to m in such a way that the row operation will change both halves of m means row operation will be applied on a and i both but the column operations will only change the left half of m means we will apply column operations only on a not on i row operations on both a and i but column operations only on a then algorithm will finally transform m into the form m transpose is equal to d q where d is your diagonal matrix then p is equal to q transpose means this p this p is your p transpose and p transpose ap is equal to d so it will be clear uh, by some examples let us see <coughs> example one find the quadratic form qxy corresponding to the symmetric matrix a equal to 5 minus 3 minus 3 8 see the solution the quadratic form qxy is written as xy into 5 minus 3 minus 3 8 xy see here earlier we have defined quadratic form is equal to here x1 of so on xn the matrix A and column vector x1 x2 on xn. So since here we have two variables x and y, that is why this is only xy. This is the matrix A and this is column vector xy. So you first multiply this matrix with first matrix with second matrix, row by column operations. So it will be 5x minus 3y. This is your first. And second minus 3x plus 8y. This is your second. Here it is the misprint. So I have written it here 8. So this is your one matrix and another matrix x y column matrix is given here now we will multiply this matrix with this one using row by column technique so x into 5x minus 3y this we multiply with this plus this will multiply with this plus y into minus 3x plus 8y so this is equal to 5x square minus 3xy this is your minus 3xy plus 8y square so it can be written as 5x square minus 6xy plus 8 y square this is what this is the representation of this matrix A in quadratic form. See, this is here your quadratic form and this is your symmetric. Now, see, 
another example find the quadratic form qx1 x2 x3 see here we have three variables here we have two variables corresponding to the symmetric matrix a equal to 1 to minus 4 2 3 5 minus 4 5 minus 7 for three variables we have three by three matrix a square matrix this will be a symmetric matrix see here how can it will be see here in a symmetric matrix we have elements at this position means at position 1 2 and 2 1 same elements at 1 3 and uh, 3 1 are same and the elements at positions uh, 2 3 and 3 2 are same so this is your symmetric matrix this symmetric matrix is represented in quadratic form by uh, suppose x is your column vector x1 x2 x3 then quadratic form qx is written as x transpose ax means x transpose means a transpose of this matrix so it will be this is column matrix so it will be row matrix x1 x2 x3 into the matrix a this matrix a is given you and this is your x means it is column vector x column matrix so first multiply this matrix with this matrix so we will use row by column multiplication. So this is x1 into 1 plus x2 into 2 plus x3 into minus 4. So this is, this is x1 plus 2x2 minus 4x3. Uh, and comma 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 5x3. This one comma of minus 4x1 plus 5x2 minus 7x3. This is equal. And x1 in, x1 x2 x3. Now multiply this matrix with this one. So it will be x1 into x1 plus 2x2 minus 4x3 plus x2 into 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 5x3 plus x3 into minus 4x1 plus 5x2 minus 7x3. So multiply this one. This will be your x1 square plus 2x1 x2 minus 4x1 x3 plus 2x2 x1 plus 3x2 square plus 5x2 x3 minus 4x3 x1 plus 5x3 x2 minus 7x3 square. So this is your x1 square plus 3x2 square minus 7x3 square. See here. Plus 2x1 x2 plus 2x2 x2 means 4x1 x2. And minus 4x1 x3 minus 4x x3 x1 means minus 8x1 x3 plus 5x2 x3 plus 5x3 x2 means plus 10x2 x3. So this is uh, the method to represent a symmetric matrix into a quadratic form. Uh, this type of problems you will find in your question paper. So you need to just practice this type of examples. Another example we can see uh, we have some time also. The following expressions define quadratic forms Q1, R2. These are there are six expressions, so they are quadratic forms. See, this is your one variable, this is your two variable, two variable, two variable, two variable, and this is also two variable on R2. Find this symmetric bilinear form F corresponding to each Q. See the solution. Let x is equal to x1, x2. By the definition of quadratic form, we have f x x is equal to qx. So f of x x is what x1 x2 so f x1 x2 x1 x2 will be q x1 x2 it is your a x1 square given similarly all are f x1 x2 x1 x2 since all have two variables so this is just equal to b x1 x2 x1 square plus 9 x2 square 2 x1 square minus 1 by 3 x1 x2 3 x1 x2 minus x2 square 4 x1 square plus 6 x1 x2 minus 3 x2 square so uh, this is all over for you uh, today uh, you just note down all of the material materials today studied. If you have any difficulty, you just send me a message. Also, the whole lecture will be available on YouTube. There is a comment section. You just send me your comments.